Okay, let's say I came to this furnace and the complaint was that the fan was running and blowing cold air. Well, when I come down and look, and I look at the bottom down there, Now I'm blinking uh, three blinks, which is a limit switch failure. Okay. So, why is the fan on if there's a limit switch failure? Okay, the, the furnace has determined that there is a problem in overheat. So if the furnace is overheated, then the fan needs to be on. Also, most of these things turn on the inducer too, because they're trying to cool down the furnace. Now, what may have happened, and it's very common on these things, is if you don't change your filters, the limit switch kicks off. And on a, a furnace made within the last 25 years, the limits are very picky. Okay, it's not a limit problem. The limit's doing its job. Now, in this case, the limit switch. Okay, you can see the limit switch is right back here. So. In order to make sure that's the limit switch that has caused the problem. Okay, now you can see I have put my probes in there across the terminals on the limit switch. Now once I put those across there, if the limit switch is open, I should read the low voltage. Okay, now you can look over here on my meter and you can see I'm reading 26 volts. Well low voltage on these is 24 so my limit switch is open. Okay I'm assuming the fan works normally and all the rest of this silly thing uh, but the limit switch is open. Now the limit switch I'm testing is an automatic reset limit. If it goes off it should go back on by itself. Sometimes what happens to these things is you'll have something like low airflow, uh, plug filters most common, and it will kick on, kick off, kick on, kick off, and do that enough, and eventually it's going to just stick off. Once it's done that, you can take the limit switch out, and I'll pull this one out, and we'll take a quick look, and I'll show you how to fix it. Okay, this is what the limit switch looks like when it's removed. This is what you saw, and this is the probe here. Now, if I pulled it out, and because I have no power to it, I want to double check it, I'm going to have to go to my meter and put it in ohms. So I set my meter to ohms. I put my probes across it and I'm reading OL. Okay. OL means it's the limit switch is kicked off. So even though it's cooled down because it still has not kicked back on. Now I just hit it and it came back on. That's what happens to these things when they are uh, kicked on and off a lot. Okay, you can put it back in now and it's gonna work. However, I would replace this thing. If it's stuck once, it sticks again. Always follow that. Nothing just sticks once and never gives any trouble again. They always stick again. While we've got this thing out, I want you to look 
notice in those numbers, one of them says L160F-30. That means at 160 degrees Fahrenheit, it is going to shut off. And if the temperature drops down to 130 degrees, it'll come back on. So it's got a 30 degree differential. Okay, when you replace this, on these type furnaces, you have to use factory parts. If you don't use factory parts in these things, uh, and there was a fire, you could be held responsible. So, uh, pressure switches and limit switches, you pretty much got to use uh, factory parts. Now, if this is a very old furnace and had a general replacement type fan limit switch in it, you could use that and just set it the way it was before. But this is is non-settable. It's you can't set this anything other than what it is. So you have to use factory parts. Okay, on this machine we've got rollout switches, and rollout switches are like that thing right there, kind of in the middle. Uh, that doohickey with a little button on top. Uh, there's one, uh, one over here. There's one over there, and there's also on this one, there's one on the fan housing. These are manual resets, and if flame was to roll out the front of this thing, it's supposed to kick them off. And I'm going to show you how you tell if these things are open. Okay, the easiest way to tell if these things have been kicked off is to go to each one of them and push the little button, that little button right there. Now you hear that click? If it clicked, it means it was kicked off. Okay, that's telling you that the flame has rolled out on this appliance. This is pretty bad news. Do not uh, just reset these things and life is good and move on. If they have kicked off, you got to look for the reason. So this could be, like in the case of this furnace, this one's got a bad heat exchanger. Uh, it could be on uh, some other furnaces if there's a, uh, a a vent blockage or something like that. But anytime a manual reset limit kicks off, you got to start hunting for what the problem is. So uh, the regular limit very commonly kicks off because of low airflow, because plug filters goes on and off enough, it'll stick off. You can kick it back on and then get a factory replacement part. If one of the manual reset limit kicks, limits kick off, then you're going to have to look closer at what's going on. I mean, I'm not saying you shouldn't look close when the one limit goes off. You should, every time you look at a furnace, you should be looking at heat exchanger and cycling and just generally looking at how it works but uh, especially if you have a manual reset limit kicked off you have probably got some sort of problem in there and that is checking the limits